With all of the information bombarding Granite Staters right now about COVID-19, what specifically do you think is the best source of information? Who should Granite Staters listen to and why? Mr. Me Mr. Messner, we'll start with you. Yeah, thank you. That's a great question because the situation with COVID-19 has become so politicized and, and, and it is very, very difficult to, to assess what information is the best. Uh, I think it's very important that we listen to the, st to the state information. That local information is, is most germane to Granite Staters, and it's most germane to the people and the mothers who are worried about their kids going back to school. So, so I think the first place I would look to is, is New Hampshire and the people and, and, and Governor Sununu. I think they've done a good job of providing information to us. I think also President Trump's administration has done a good job providing information, and we ought to pay attention to what, what information that they're putting out. The guidelines that Governor Sununu and President Trump have provided have been very helpful to businesses. I've heard that from business owners as I've been out visiting them. And General Boldick, same question. Thank you, Monica, very much. Hey, listen, the best solution to all our problems are bottom-up solutions, whether it's security, whether it's better governance, whether it is public safety. And we needed to start there. And we did not start there. We started at the top. And we allowed media to convolute things, national media to convolute the message. And then we went on for months, and it was confusing. And the biggest message I hear out there, and I heard it today uh, in Exeter at, at a meet and greet, was, who do we believe? And that's the biggest problem. And you're supposed to be able to believe leaders. And that's where Jean Shaheen has made the biggest mistake. She hasn't been a leader. She hasn't worked through the confusion. She hasn't worked through any, any solution that would give people confidence so that they can go back to work, so that they can get their kids back to school, so that they can do the normal things that we're supposed to do.